solve for x. Okay, so when you get a situation like this, I've showed you guys videos like this before, um, you need to take out a common factor here, but first you're gonna have to split it up. So 3x plus, now how does this split? Remember that that can split as 3x times three to the negative one, okay? And you're gonna end up with 36. Now, can you see there's a common factor over here? Okay, so you're gonna take out that common factor of three to the x, and then you'd be left with one. Remember, if there's nothing here, you're still gonna put a one, plus three to the negative one equals to 36. Now, this part in the bracket, you can just go ahead and type it on the calculator. It's gonna be four over three. And now we can uh, divide by, so we can say 36 divided by four over three because we're taking this to the um, right hand side. And so if you go type that on the calculator, it'll be 27. Okay, so I'm just gonna erase that and say 27. And now what you can do, um, maybe you know what this becomes, but if not, you can go type it on the calculator, 27, then press equals, then say shift, and then fact. And if you had to work that out, well, if you had to do that, you would end up that seeing that 27 is the same as three to the power of three. So we could say three X is equal to three to the power of three. Now when these two are the same, we can ignore them. And then we just end up with X equals to three.